I believe we're still on summer vacation and the students are being trained. And last episode, yo, the forest ogres are getting a lot of recognition. Actually, all of our demi plane, you know, races, they do get way more recognition when they're featured with like regular humans and other people, right? Whenever they're on Makoto, it just seems like they're like fodder. But like, what was her name? Aqua or Eris? Just like one shotting, you know, and saving the students at the end of the last episode and just going banana. It's like, goddamn. They are truly built different. It's just that we're too used to godlike figures like Makoto, Mio, and so on, right? So I'm not sure what's gonna happen in today's episode, but let's find out. That's the dragon that got soloed. Loot. I don't know what to call him. Root or loot? Luto. More mana than me, and you still want more. It's crazy, huh? It's fucking crazy. And I think the leading theory on why Makoto has so much fucking mana is that it's the arrow training, right? The more arrow training you do, the more like you like the more focused you are. Like your consciousness disappears, and like it's basically the best analogy is like. You're, 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 it's like muscle training. You're, you're just stretching all the muscles, right? The more you do that, the more bigger you get. And the whole arrow thing, you're just stretching and going away and extending and stuff like that. But it's like, um, I heard that people are saying that shit didn't start here, right? Because technically back on Earth, he did that shit forever. Well, not forever, but like since a child. So he's been just like on the grind all that time. And then when we got transported into this world, that God basically lifted all the shackles on us and we just basically become super stronger, right? So at that point... All that childhood training basically led to the incredible monopole that he has now, and he continues to train that, right? All at once? Well, we, we can't even... Basically, our hose is too small. We have a shitload of water that we can shoot out, but the hose is too small. So basically, we just kind of increase the output to have some crazy attack. You're built different though. You're the fucking main character. Oh, we shouldn't talk about that then. Okay, okay, okay. Focus and arrow. <laughs> Focus. Focus and fuga. Hmm? Training method. The teacher has become the student. Hmm, how many of you guys can relate to that? You know, during like summertime, basically when you're in school, you're just like longing for the summer. But when summer comes around and you have vacation, you have nothing to do, you actually become fucking depressed. You're just in bed, rotting, because like you think that you have so much time. You can do whatever you want, but you just sit in bed and you do fucking nothing. And time passes day after day and you start to realize, what the fuck am I doing? School's going to come very soon. It's my summer break. I should be doing something with my time. But it's like some kind of weird fucking pressure creeps up on you because now you have this time to be on vacation and you feel like time is being wasted, even though you're like trying to enjoy your time. It's fucked up. It's so fucked up. Like you can't even enjoy your free time because you feel like you need to be doing something. It's fucked. He, he blushed there. He blushed there. Hmm. Summer of growth and new skills. New skills for Makoto? They're also paying us money. Is she, is she raised up by us? Is that an addition to the harm? Is she gonna teach us how to use like uh, more mana? Sure, this is gonna lead to our new ultimate move, maybe? Yes, hardcore nerds like you. Learn an ultimate move. He pretty much is a student. He's as young as a student here, right? Yeah. He should have been a student, but he ended up a teacher. Komoe! PowerPoint slide, Komoe. Wow, they're really not gonna get her get get the Gorgons any other outfit, huh? This is great. Like everyone's close. So what is the logic behind like not giving the Gorgons like specific like outfits? Because like everyone else seems to be very closed up, and maybe that's their traditional garb. And it'd be rude of us to say, "Hey, Gorgons, you gotta wear something else." But goddamn, I'm so glad the Gorgons are on board. Goddamn. <laughs> 
学園の夏休みが終われば僕も忙しくなるだろうし今はそう言っていただけるとお母様のような主を得て私たちは幸せ Oh, am I you look even more delicious than ever? Crispy bacon Mock battle? Yeah, mock battle against the Wind King, the flying people. Let's do it. Better than lizards, ogres, forest ogres, gorgons. You wanna. That's right, because she's an orc. In the sky? Good luck. Okay. I mean, I think the Wind King needs good luck more than us. Just fucking nuke the forest, shoot an arrow. This is hello? This wait, 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 wait. Each single fucking firebolt, each one of these fireballs turn into like 10 other ones. Look at this. Uh, it's been a long time. Oh, and there <laughs> We surrender. We surrender. That was supposed to be warm up. Okay. Using clouds to their advantage? I think this is a new soundtrack. <laughs> Investigative Kai. Wait, wait, what was that? It's, it's vision on them, right? Because you can't see them behind the clouds, so just fucking shoot. And they're dead again. <laughs> Prepare for the falling debris. Is the debris the fucking corpses falling down after getting hit by these? This is just target practice, man. Oh, that's a big bird. Is he the strongest? Oh, okay. Shona, the lieutenant, can transform into the bird. So this is the leader and the lieutenant. Okay. They're just gonna turn to KFC, man. Oh! What? Just like a fucking dive bomb wind attack? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Honestly, they probably put up a better fight than any other race could right now. Some of them have black wings. I wonder what the difference is between the white and the black wing. Really? I mean, the whole thing is that the wing can basically abuse their flight, and the flight shouldn't be abused too much, because it's seen in the Makoto fight, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Stop launching suicide attacks. <laughs> okay. Alright, good lesson. Oh, the, I thought they were already in it. Yeah, I thought you guys were already in the tournament. Why? Flying would not help them build structures? They're too weak? Okay, back to our ultimate technique. Colorful mana manifest as a weak barrier as a second i don't even know what the mechanics are going to be man for this new ultimate mask mana becomes visible you can touch the mana his new ultimate move material the mana become visible materialize you can even touch it like a rasengan like a rasengan in naruto is basically the manifestation of you know energy mana chakra in your palm it basically fills up. Isn't that the manifestation? Because like when we shoot the arrow, or when we shoot the brid, just like fireballs, is that necessarily mana? Not really, is it? You use the mana to create these flame stuff, or like the arrows. But what does that mean to manifest the mana and be able to touch it? Like what I imagine is it's just going to be a bigger arrow. Ooh. If he does this, are people gonna- Wait, wait, wait. Usually, whenever he does something, it just starts to, like, change, like, the ecosystem and, like, the environment. So, is this training session just gonna fuck everything up? <laughs> okay, bro, just going hard. Spamming bridge. Where is this all going? Should you shoot fireballs like that? Bro? What's he feeling? Wait, is he understanding? What is this? Is he getting closer to the truth? And he passes out? And he passed out from that? Oh, I'm surprised like it's all green here still. I thought the entire fucking demi plane would have been just like in flames. 
Oh. Yeah, you are. Oh. What are you telling me that for? <laughs> so, using all that mana, that was so stressful that he just kind of passed down. During the focusing of that, right? Instead of shooting arrows, you're just focusing shooting, you know, the fireballs. Hmm? All right. I'm not really sure, but like, I wonder if the state, if, if, if this like, you know, this new state, he started to feel something, right? Manifestation of mana. Is that what's going on right now? Because like before, like, look, 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 when he, sh I'm not sure if it's just a visual effect, but when he shoots the flame, it comes directly out of his hands, right? It's like, boom, 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 boom. But then it's like here, I don't know. It, it looked like a different thing was summoned, right? And like, what, what is this like flame like object behind him, right? So is this the manifestation of mana? Are you going to summon like a fucking fire lore that can then like shoot like the fireballs for you? Is, is that like how you go to that next level of increasing? Like, like visual wise, like, is this like a big deal? It, like clearly it's just the difference of where the fireballs are being shot instead of his hand. There seems to be something like hovering here, but like, I don't know. I, I, I guess that is the next level. And as soon as he did that, and this is basically the arrow training, right? There's nothing different here between the arrow training where he focuses versus shooting. It's just instead he's doing the focus while shooting the fire. So the more he does this, the more he can like unlock his like new powers of just increasing output. Hmm. Is bro like manifesting like Susano? You know? And like that's only for one fire. That's like only for one fire. Think about it. We have like water and we have like um, other elements. So like right now, let's just think about it. We're going to summon like a giant fucking fire demon samurai thing. That's going to be like the manifestation of mana and like shoot fire. And then on the other hand, he can have like water and he'll have like a water version just doing the same shit. So instead of, you, you know what I'm talking about? Like all the elements, he does the same thing, but at the same time, this is, and like he only knows basic magic, right? This is still basic magic. I think someone kept mentioning in season one when we were watching this that everything that he's doing is the most simple magic, just like level one rudimentary magic. It's just so fucking broken because the quality of his mana and the quantity. So is this like still, this is like advanced magic we're learning? Dinner time. Mio is getting really good. Wow, actual development. No! Don't you dare! <laughs> Alcoholic Tomoe. In your country, in Japan, they say it's worth selling the farm to enjoy morning drink. Is that an actual saying in Japan? Is, is this true? Farmers say that it's worth selling the fucking farm to just day drink? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> More sake? More sake? It's an old saying? Gotcha. Dude, she's becoming like a Michelin star, like, great chef. Persimmons were like the first fruit that they, uh, Tomoe ate first, right? The forest ogres wants to be buried in the bananas. Mio suddenly is ahead of Tomoe because she controls the, you know, food. Okay, wait. More of the training. Utilize the mana outside my body. Basically, the aura that we see right now. See, see, see? He doesn't have to do the hand anymore. It's just mana outside the body. And like the flame mana thing is materialized. It can shoot magic. Okay. Not a trance-like state. Somewhere in between like a hybrid. Incantation. Incantation to make it materialize. So you need like a gentle point. So the girls... Oh, incantation! Kazukurani... This is random words. Okay. Can he do incantation this one day? You know, having to chat like this is kind of other Isuka characters. Incantation was. Okay, okay! 12.55! Go to the opening. I always wonder what this liquid was. I always wonder what this liquid was. In the opening, when we find, you know, right? When we see loot in the opening, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy? And he just drowned this in like fucking orange juice. But like this, this, this orange juice, right? This orange juice is whatever this like fluid is. What, what is this shit, huh? Mana honey? What is this shit? This is the manifestation of mana, physical form? Where the fuck are we going with this? We have a slime suit now? 
Aesthetically, it doesn't look too cool. Like, it looks kind of annoying to fight enveloped in mana like slime suit, right? What happens? It looks kind of funny. I like the mana. I I I I like the the mana when it like the the flame aura shooting the fires more. This looks kind of I don't know. It's a little, little, little goofy. Yes. Mana outside the body. Okay. Can anything penetrate it? It's strong as fuck. Durable. So we've just unlocked this new level of defense. So not only defense but offensive capability. Okay. 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 <laughs> My only, my only criticism of this is that, like, uh, I, I, I don't know. What do you guys feel about this new bubble mode, like the slime mode? I feel like, I don't know. I, I, I like this form, right? It looks a little weird. Like, it looks a little goofy. I like this, right? But this is like too far in the spectrum. So we have to make like a nice half point where we don't go full trance-like mode, and we basically get this like slime suit instead. Aesthetic-wise, it doesn't look too cool, but it's in the basic stages. Who knows? Maybe it'll, like, slim down. Maybe there'll, there'll be some other shit, man. Who knows? Yeah, this is like, the, this is like draft, so who, who knows how this will evolve later on. If someone has to die, I'd rather it just be me. Interesting philosophy. But because he said that, it's definitely gonna happen. And this is a kind of funny scene. I don't know. This looks like a, sometimes in uh, this show, they have like specific manga panel moments, right? Like this is a pretty much like the light novel illustration. I don't know, whatever. But like, it's funny because he looks so fucking epic with the shading, but then it's just like him breaking a tree down <laughs> and just walking away like that. I don't know. It just looks so epic, but then you realize it's just like a simple tree broken down. Anyways, but 100%, other people will be brought in. Okay, summer break is done. Okay. They all got their own secret techniques too? Let's see it. To, to see whoever can break the giant boulder? So we have like a power scaling involved too. The harder you hit, like the higher the number will be. This will be fun. Mio is just officially a ship that just keeps eating her own food. <laughs> Komae. Emma's going in? But goddamn, finally Komoe got some lines. So far, Komoe's only scenes were basically random like transition scenes. Emma? You got something for us, Emma? Alright, okay. The greatest mage of the Oryx. All right. It's like a buff. So it buffs him. Buff into a big bonk. 78. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Makoto was like, that's kind of trash. But wait, how good is 78 the relatively? Really? Okay. And this is just testing brute force, right? Shoots breath into the sky. Oh, it's like aerial attacks, like don't fuck around. Ah, throwing a little shade to the Winkin. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought that they shot up to the sky, not only to throw shade at the Winkin, but then it'd be part of the attack. Like you shoot into the sky and then like from the sky is like some kind of like ice beings like descend from the heavens. But like they only shot at the sky just to be like, yo. Stop fucking camping me in this fucking sky. Fight me down here, and then they just shot at the fucking boulder. 68! Not too bad, not too bad! Well... This is three of them, though. Compared to the Highland Oryx. He did get buffed, but he did get buffed, but... The dwarves are- what? Elder dwarves are- New weapon! Mountain cleaver. It didn't cleave shit. 70 though. Pretty good. Pretty good. I didn't expect the, the dwarves to get involved too. Uh, oh! They can take their. They can, they can take it off? They, 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 they can take their fucking glasses off? They, they can do that? Also, this guy got skipped real fucking quick. Bro, everyone else got such a long scene and this guy just fucking. We just slapped once. He just fucking skipped, dude. Everyone else on scene it's just like. Alki, boom, slap, next. And Gorgon. <laughs> I thought they were gonna do a special attack! 
<laughs> Did he just turn the rock into rock? <laughs> I thought they're taking a the fucking blindfold off to do some like new move they learned, like laser beam. This, this is just comedy. <laughs> Actually, really funny. Okay, Winkin can like do detonation. Pretty weak though. Accurate but weak. Banana. Oh. Aqua and Eris got new outfits. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> it just leaves. I'm surprised there's no bananas here, huh? They look like magical girls now. What'd you say? What'd you say? Did Neo and Tomo got jealous? Even for you, young master. <laughs> Aqua's so embarrassed. What the what? Did Aqua have to be all knees fucking arcing her back like this? Is this all part of the pose? No! Eris made her do the shit, dude! Utterly invisible, kills with a touch. Absolute zero, Cocutus. Ice barrier, indulge in the ice. Okay, okay. Cool. Are they the strongest here? I'm not sure. Oh! The weapons got frozen too. So if you touch it, it just gets frozen. Even a while. Just a little bit. So defensive wise, very good. Okay, let's go for us, Ogres. Makoto break it. Oh, could you imagine that Makoto uses his new fucking braid attack and just, you know, fucking breaks it? Ah, uh, oh, you just teleported in! Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, this is like thinking outside the box. Like if you fucking dig a hole and just... I thought he might use this new like fire technique and just, you know, shoot it down. Who is the strong... 50 points, but who is the strongest of the demiplane? I guess they all excel, excel in a specific thing, huh? Right? The Winkin are very accurate and they're very, you know, agile in, in disguise, right? Forest Ogres, defensive abilities, right? The Highland Ogres, offensive of capabilities with the buffing, right? And the Lizards, I'm not really sure. But I guess they all specialize in their own thing. Alki, I forgot about the Alki. Honestly, they skipped over the Alki so quick, I don't even know. Who are the strong- I thought the Alkis were the strongest. In, in season one, weren't the Alkis like the strongest before? I don't know, but it, it does feel like everybody has their own special niche and they, they specialize in different things. <laughs> Mio and Tomoe get the flex? Wait. <laughs> What she got for us? What she got for us? What was she watching? Was she watching Gordon Ramsay? What, what the fuck is she watching? Summon? Spider Ranger! Spider Ranger! Because if Tomoe is super into um, the samurai you know, uh, stuff, then Mio is into the basically like um common rider or basically you know suit Power Rangers, right? Spider Spider Ranger. You're supposed to attack. You're you're, you're supposed to attack. Oh whatever. Zero points. Okay, Shiki. Let's see what you got. What does Shiki have now? Manifest Hades. This is quite a demonic incantation. <laughs> Bro, for Everyone else has been pretty chill. Shiki shows up. He's not fucking around. Bro, just started. The boss thing starts playing. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Who's the true son? Bro has a fuck away! Wait, 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 wait! Bro had a fucking Shika the entire time? She, she had a fucking Zanpakuto? Okay, Stav can basically turn into like a fucking sword? Dragon Slayer. Really? Shiki versus a dragon income? Kind of audacious for Tomoe. <laughs> He actually sliced it. Hundred? Damn, Shiki. Okay, okay. 
I'm a little, huh? I think she is. Does Tomoe got hit by this? Hmm. Does uh, Tomoe have uh, any new moves? What can someone summon slime suit? Wait, wait, let's see it. Oh, oh, we're not done yet with the demonstrations. But the rock is already cut. What are you gonna do? Right, because so far he did it secretly and nobody knew, right? Because he had the concealing Kai in. Oh. Oh. Thumbnail right there. Thumbnail. Isn't this what was playing in season one when he shot the arrow down at Lancer? Mana matter. That's what the slime mode is. Let's punch it. Physical attack, punch. Okay. All right. And that's just a punch. We, we don't have the magic yet. Wait, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> did she pass out? Did she, did she actually just fucking pass out? Everyone is terrorized, dude. Like the amount of mana being released. Everybody is just terrorized, huh? <laughs> just uh, Sasuga Wakasama. Wow. She keeps fucking souls leaving. Yeah, you did. Whose voice? The demi plane! Because the demi plane is fucking wide! It's, it's huge! There's other species here that already lives? Who the fuck is this bear? What? And that's another episode. This episode was pretty fucking sick, even though this is like setup, right? It's like summer vacation. It was like a training arc. Just like understanding more of the different ways the Makoto can kind of like utilize his mana is pretty interesting. Now, I did really like this like new mode of just like going full focus and manifesting mana like that, right? But then this orange goop, the slime mode is like man, mana, mana matter, where it's like you're not going too far into the trance-like state, but you're not doing too weak as like delicate balance, right? And it basically enhances your durability. You can tank motion. It's physically strong and it can basically fire off magic spells without you having to really focus on it. It's basically like a Susano, right? From Naruto, but it's like the aesthetic wise, the form itself isn't too compelling, but I'm sure it is still in the beginning phases. Who knows if it's going to style up to be a little bit better. I'm not trying to hate on it, but it's like if you look at this, you know, if you look at a typical main, you know, character protagonist of like an anime, the forms are usually pretty cool, but this one, it's a little bit not there yet. I feel like this is not the final product, so I'm not going to give it my final judgment yet. You know, seeing the other demiplane races, you know, have their own special moves, it was pretty fun. The I think that Gorgon's just taking their eyes off, you know, their eye blindfold off and just making the rock into the rock was probably the funniest moment. And hey, everybody's getting stronger, right? Everybody's getting stronger. And at the very end, at the very end, there appears to be Kumasama. There's a bear and a little fox thing. I thought that the demi plane, like no one really existed in it. It's just like this like natural wildlife abundance. Now I said wildlife that appears to, that that pretty much implies that you know bears and other stuff exist. But I thought that nobody was here. It's just like empty land and there's just forest and shit. But it's like damn, the bears fucking exist and they can talk. We'll figure out more about the next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.